Apollo Milton Obote born 28th December 1925 and died 10th October 2005 was a Ugandan politician who served as the second prime minister of Uganda from 1962 to 1966 and the second president of Uganda from 1966 to 1971 and later from 1980 to 1985. Elango Obote studied at the Busoga College and Makere University in 1956. He joined the Uganda National Congress UNC and later split away by founding the Uganda People's Congress UPC in 1960. After Uganda gained independence from British colonial rule of the United Kingdom in 1962, Obote was sworn in as Prime Minister in a coalition with the Kabaka Yeka, whose leader Mutesa II was named President. Due to a lift with Mutesa over the 1964 Ugandan Lost Counties referendum and later getting implicated in a gold smuggling scandal. Obote overthrew him in 1966 and declared himself president, establishing a dictatorial regime with the UPC as the only official party in 1969. As president, Obote implemented ostensibly socialist policies under which the country suffered from severe corruption and food shortages. Was overthrown in a military coup d'etat by Idi Amin in 1971, settling in exile in Tanzania, but was re-elected in an election reported to be neither free nor fair in 1980, a year after Amin's 1979 overthrow. His second period of rule ended after a long bloody conflict known as the Ugandan Bush War during which he was overthrown a second time by another coup d'etat in 1985 led by Tito Okero, prompting him to live the rest of his life in exile. Apollo Milton Obote was born in Akokolo village in the Apak district in northern Uganda on 28th December 1925. He was the third born of nine children of a tribal chief of the Oyima clan Lango ethnic group. He began his education in 1940 at the Protestant Missionary School in Lila and later attended Gulu Junior Secondary School, Busoga College, Mwili, and eventually University at Makere University. Having intended to study law, a subject not taught at the university, Obote took a general arts course, including English and geography. At Makere Re, Obote honed his natural oratorical skills. He may have been expelled for participating in a student strike or alternatively left after a place to study law abroad was not funded by the protectorate government. He worked in Buganda in southern Uganda before moving to Kenya where he worked as a construction worker at an engineering firm. in Kenya, Obote became involved in the national independence movement. Upon returning to Uganda in 1956, he joined the political party Uganda National Congress UNC, and was elected to the Coronial Legislative Council in 1957. In 1959, the UNC split into two functions, with one function under the leadership of Obote merging with the Uganda People's Union to form the Uganda People's Congress. Obote represented the UPC at the Ugandan Constitutional Conference held at Lancaster House in 1961 alongside fellow Ugandan politician A.G. Mehta. The conference was organized by the British government to pave the way for Ugandan independence. Mm -hmm. 